Hi guys, Thomas and Friends 487 here, and today we're taking a look at the brand new TWR 2022 diesel. And this packaging that you'll see here is absolutely awesome. It really feels like a premium experience, and you can tell that Mattel put a lot of work into this packaging to make it feel like a collector's item, and it really, really does. Here's the top of the packaging, and the bottom. All right, so let's see what's inside the box. First up is this awesome checklist that comes with wooden railway engines. And I'll be honest with you, when I purchased James, Percy, and Rosie, they did not have a checklist. And I was really disappointed because I'd seen these on Twitter floating around where other people had gotten them. And when I opened them, I didn't see one. I was like, oh man. Um, but when I opened the box, I was so genuinely surprised and it was so cool. And of course, I picked Diesel and Thomas up from the Day Alba Thomas event. So maybe it's only like a first wave thing. Maybe it was put in some packaging and not others. I don't know, but it's still really, really cool. Um, you'll see at the top, it has all the models put together. Uh, Napford and Tidmouth that plan on getting all of those. And then here on the back, you'll see all of the engines from wave one. And I have Thomas, uh, well, now, I have Thomas, James, uh, Diesel, Rosie, and Percy, and I plan on getting all of the rest there, so hopefully I add those to my collection. All right, and here is Diesel out of the box, and the first thing you're going to notice is the details. They are so incredible, from the printed wheels to the side rod details to the door and cab details. Even the window is made to look like it's been opened. You have vent details, ladder details that's molded. It's just absolutely incredible. And a good chunk of this is all solid wood. The only thing that's plastic is the front part of diesel and the couplings and wheels. Everything else is solid wood. And speaking of the front, you'll see the face there. It's just so perfect. It's so CGI diesel, and I love it. You also have the great buffer details there. And then here's the other side, which is basically the same. Yeah, great wheel printing there. And I will say, I like the wheels better in person than I did in promos. Um, here's the back of diesel, and you'll see it's kind of plain. That's okay. And here's the top. And again, they printed details on the top with that light gray outlining so it stands out. It's just so cool. And here's the bottom of Diesel with his name written there. You know, unfortunately, I couldn't find my 2021 or 2020 wood diesel uh, to do a comparison with. And I don't have a classic diesel. So, well, except for a snowy diesel, but I couldn't find him either. Um, so, overall, it feels about the same in proportions. I think it's a little bit bigger than the old one. Um, but all in all, it's a great model. I love the details on this engine. And as I feel with all of these 2022 wood railway engines, I feel this is the best model of diesel we've gotten in the TWR range ever. And Mattel really knocked them out of the park with this. And it goes to show what Mattel can do when they put their minds to it. And I think that's what frustrates me and others in this fandom so much, is we know what Mattel is capable of. We know what they can do when they try. It's just they have to try. And I do believe that these engines will fly off the sale, uh, excuse, sales, excuse me, shelves. Um, at my local Barnes & Noble, every time I go in there, they have none of these. When I first went in there, they had a small selection. I was able to get Percy, James, and Rosie. That was the only three they had. They had multiples of them. And I go back and there's none. They still have the Thomas Wood stuff, but the Thomas Wood Railway is gone. And so I'm like, why doesn't Mattel see this? Why don't they understand this is what people want? And I think they are slowly starting to realize that, and hopefully will make more products like this in their premium range. Because when you make items like this that can be enjoyed both by younger fans and by adult collectors like myself, that's the sweet spot that they need to find because that's where they're going to get the maximum amount of sales. Think about it. You're not selling just one market. You're selling the two. You're getting double the profits. It's incredible. And I hope that Mattel will realize that and continue this trend of great products. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think about Diesel in the comments below. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now.